will uh, it will organizers uh, across uh, world have been participated and uh, very insightful sessions are uh, going on so i am also happy to be part of it and let's start without any delay so hope my uh, presentation is uh, visible it, it is visible sir so it is visible right yes it is visible sir it is visible yes, yeah. yes sir uh, so uh, we are idal systems uh, as a an iso certified 9001 uh, 2015 certified company we are in the majorly uh, drones uh, manufacturing and services our motto is to become a major product development company in the field of aerospace in india and to support and develop aerospace products in india we founded basically in 2011 and uh, from then we are having our uh, two offices uh, uh, walkable distance at hl airport exit road one is corporate office and one is workshop where uh, manufacturing happens our clients are uh, like from isro to microsoft or uh, indian uh, airlines to drdo indian railways tata and uh, many we have developed our own uh, products like uh, fixed wing as well as rotary wing uh, drones we have our composite uh, production uh, expert in uh, glass fiber as well as uh, carbon fiber resin uh, polymers and uh, we have developed our spidex drone and uh, gi gimbal required for the drone uh, uh, in that uh, uh, what to say day and uh, night camera facilities our previous uh, deliveries are like uh, 3 meter wing span uh, uav nayan for nal 1.5 meter wing span in uav micro uavs and vital uavs 10 kg payload drone also we have delivered 1.8 meter wing span fixed wing uavs ghatak uav 3 meter wing uav then hexacopter for center of artificial intelligence and robotics drdo fuse testing for ard drdo swarm swarm testing also we have done for ade and white talk is our uh, dgca approved drone recently we have done uh, design and development of our drones industrial uav inspection services we have provided the uav based aerial survey mapping for uh, farms as well as uh, highway and railway many projects we have done till now engineering services and manpower consulting also we have done so uh, today's agenda is we will go uh, with our webinar now like uh, we will go through history of electricity from where we started and uh, industrial revolutions electric future we are going right but why it is coming up how and what so in what we will see unmanned aerial vehicles urban uh, air mobility like manned air aerial vehicles electric aircraft rockets spaceships and satellites and what are the challenges also we will see so uh, let's start before that uh, there are many uh, people who are suspicious about future so i'm just having some quotes to to be open mindedness and uh, thank you for already who are participated who are already open minded the best way to predict the future is to create it right the future starts today not tomorrow means we have to work from day to day to create our future your future is created by what you do today not tomorrow nothing we do can change the past but everything we do change is the future the future depends on what we do in the present 
Mahatma Gandhi quoted very nicely. So where we uh, human beings started, where we uh, like uh, before Christ 600, uh, they are uh, in the tales like tribo, tribo electric effect, right? Uh, the... Rakesh sir, sorry to interrupt. Uh, we are still seeing the title page. Uh, you are in the first uh, slide only, right? No, that's why I asked, uh, is it visible? Uh, the slide is visible, but it is uh, showing only the first slide. Oh, is it? Yes. Because uh, this is opened in Chrome. Okay. Am I right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So that, that is not changing the slide, sir. Okay. Uh, you can open it with Google Slides. Yes, yes. How to share your telling? Uh, you are opening in uh, my folder, Microsoft my computer PowerPoint folder, sir? my computer folder. Okay, no problem. You can open that, sir, and you can oh, share. How to how to share? I'm not getting. You have to share the screen, sir. In the bottom of the Zoom, you there have is to sharing screen. screen. One participant yes. can share at a time. Yes, sir. You can. Then I click, but where is the? Uh, you have to share the entire screen, sir. Yeah, and there is no option. Uh, now you just see, sir. Is it visible? Yes, now your screen is visible. Yeah, the PPT is opening. No, it is sliding up. Mm, no, sir. Still, your Windows Explorer is visible. Is this visible? M I D A T A L. Yeah, yeah. This is visible. In that. Yeah, but uh, the PowerPoint slides are not visible. What it shows. Uh, sir, you can open the PowerPoint and then you go for a share screen option. There you will get. Yeah, I have opened my PowerPoint. Okay, then. Okay. Here. Now is it visible? No, sir. Uh, sir, I think you should share the entire screen rather than one window. I, this issue yeah, is faced with few uh, presentation PPTs. Now tell me. Okay, now you're uh, okay. Now? Uh, now it is visible, sir. Now you go for full screen slideshow. Yes. Now? Now it is perfect. Okay, thank you. Uh, perfect, perfect. The page. Yes. Thank you so much. So I was telling about our company. We go a little fast. These are our clients. These are our products. These are our deliveries of drones till now. White Talk is our latest DGC approved drone. And this is our agenda today. Is it visible?
Hello. Yes, it is visible, sir. Yes, perfect. So I was thinking, telling that we will go by history and industrial revolutions and electric future is coming up. Why, how, and what? In what we will see unmanned aerial vehicles, or in urban air mobility like manned air, aerial vehicles, electric aircrafts, electric rockets, and spaceships. And what are the challenges? So these were uh, good thoughts I shared with you just now to open uh, our mind about our future. Yes, it is uncertainty, but we are working for that today. So uh, yes, as per the history, we are seeing that before Christ, only uh, the things were started about electricity and this is the timeline we are seeing up to Einstein and Tesla and he must when he discovered electricity till now the commercial electricity is we are seeing right going forward what we are going to see so if we are seeing that uh, first electricity industrial revolutions and uh, industrial revolutions 2.0 when electricity was discovered right? year on year uh, the industrial revolution's duration is shortening and the industrial revolution 4 is just within uh, switched within 19 years right like artificial intelligence is coming up so uh, aerospace and defense uh, 4.0 is currently we are experiencing where 3d additive manufacturing artificial intelligence digital twins and virtual and augmented reality uh, uh, these are the things we are experiencing in that supply chain, digital design, simulation and integration, cyber security in that cyber risk, data ownership and technical challenges are also there. Right? Whenever anything we are uh, discussing or in about any goal, generally we start with what? Like we are seeing today that uh, electric future right but how it is uh, happening or why it is happening right for example if you see that apple fall down right what was that apple and how it all fall uh, how it fall down we know but why it fall down only newton found it right same way we are, if we are going through electric future in aerospace we will go through why first why is important why? Because it is having some ma uh, ma major benefits like better for environment, better for our health and economical in long run, less dependency on fossil fuels, better for uh, energy securities. It is very fast and virtually the speed of light. It is silent as compared to the jet engines. It is having storable energy, low maintenance, because the ro rotative uh, parts are not there here. It can be used for, to produce a magnetic fields, which can be used to propel motors. It can be used to produce other form of radiant energy, such as radio waves, microwaves, radiant heat and light, right? So if you see the aerospace and defense 4.0 era as having uh, multiple applications, if you see the current applications in additive manufacturing, for example, like prototyping, tooling, and functional end use fast parts manufacturing. But emerging applications, you will see that combining new types of novel materials like alloys and all or composites to improve aerospace parts and accessories. Right? So, in the same way, at advanced analytics, advanced robotics and cognitive augment, automation, artificial intelligence blockchain, digital reality, means artificial, uh, uh, AR and VR or mixed reality, internet of things, having current as well as emerging applications, right? So uh, we all are excited about the future, how it has, uh, it is uh, going to happen, right? So, we are basically knowing that the battery cells and solar cells are also there for that. And 
for those are like main heroes and the side heroes like propeller uh, then uh, this brushless dc motor and yes is like electronic speed controllers are also supportive uh, roles this is like simple way i'm showing for the drone but the, in the same way it can be uh, for other uh, projects right so what what we are going to see is like unmanned aerial vehicles manned aerial vehicles electric aircrafts rockets spaceships and satellite right so what are the drones literally we would like to read the definition because it is very but uh, uh, what to like cumulative like a uav is defined as a powered aerial vehicle that does not carry a human operator first condition is that uses aerodynamic forces to provide vehicle lift can fly autonomously or be piloted remotely can be expendable or recoverable means it can be lost also how it is losing we will see in the future slides and can carry a lidar or non lidar payloads also right so the drone is general uh, layman term for uav official names are like unmanned aerial vehicle or uncrewed aerial vehicle remotely piloted aerial vehicle right uav yes is systems which includes uav right so it is having another names like unmanned aerial vehicle system remotely piloted aircraft systems or unmanned aerial systems okay so there are n number of applications if you will see from aerial photographies or disaster management or search and rescue weather and law enforcement geographical mapping yes drones are coming in very fast if you will see uh, the uh, the applications which i am going to show you and this is uh, majorly happening with electric help only right so if you see this graph there is less skill, less skill and less money is required just for flying just to take a look right and little more skill is required for progressing to update photos for pizza delivery for example less skill is required but high money is required as compared to the value of pizza cost of pizza same way more skill and more uh, money is required for aerial mapping marketing videos and points clouds right if you see the majorly uh, photography is the 42 or 42 to 43% is the main usage of drone after that a real estate and utilities from agriculture manufacturers and government is also using for that our scientific work also but slowly if you see the graphs uh, the things are rapidly changing year by year now i will show one by one applications like uavs for traffic management right why always i am uh, thinking about why traffic of vehicles traffic of vehicles is a big problem in the cities right so traffic monitoring can fix the problems in advance from the next signals the solutions is like improving traffic times and it will help you to in the reduce fuel consumptions and uh, the uh, the traffic management can plan you know, many things in advance that uh, time wise like morning or evening times where uh, the traffic will be more right this is one typical video if you are able to see so how the things are uh, happening in the with the drones like simplicity and mobility ability to cover the large areas like bird eye view traffic guidance or road monitoring high resolution real time videos real license read license plates and many uh, uh, illegal uh, formations of the number plates or the glasses or uh, drones can be equipped with the different types of payloads like hd camera or night vision uh, surveillance ground situational awareness of suppose particular uh, distance area where according to they can divert their uh, traffic right so there will be traffic smooth flow and uh, road safety 
how police is getting help with the drones like chassis suspects chasing suspects uh, crime scene investigations disaster reliefs or illegal uh, drones chasing cars planes and boating accidents right package deliveries hope you are all are reading about the uh, uh, drones uh, are uh, used going to use in the package deliveries and this is the latest news in the june month where swiggy is working on that right for food delivery or uh, any package uh, like medicines or any uh, small uh, like up to 1 to 2 kg 5 kg uh, weighing deliverable products so why it is happening using drones saves more time and energy and it is beneficial for the company's business operations it will be faster right so i am i would like to tell you that name any field and just drone it like that it is happening hope you are uh, able to uh, attend and see my each slide hello yes yes sir it is it is okay so drones are uh, not only in air i would like to show you that underwater called underwater drones are hydro drones is hydrons like marine explorations oceanography underwater rescue sea animal critters or uh, ocean toxicity monitoring systems everywhere uh, the drones are uh, used and uh, going forward it is helping uh, human beings on land how it is uh, helping like uh, assess land topography aerial search and rescue as i told you how police are getting help from that in military also spying arsenal heat sensor detection military drone swarming uh, the group of drones uh, uh, helping in many ways in military also for attacking or in defense generating map for the farming or a required uh, road or highways or railway surveys security wise uh, many buildings like having official uh, premises of big campus 500 acres 1000 acres or in apartments also th up to 1000 uh, houses are there at a time security is uh, managed a bit in better way from drones applications in air like air pressure check as altitude increases the air pressure decreases the drones can help in that uh, tropical cyclone study or tornado analysis obviously if drones are uh, drones will be sent into this type of uh, analysis the drones will not be come back but the data will be with us right for analysis so those those are like launch and forget about the drones so how what in space like weather forecasting communication system space telescope planetary drones or comets and asteroid study space exploration where human being cannot be uh, reached and uh, uh, help us uh, give to give the photographs or the uh, what happening what's happening in that location on that location so if you will see there are n number of applications as i said you now i will go uh, one by one more applications like for airlines like airbus a380 or boeing 777 such a huge airplanes where uh, every 125 hours approximate will be a uh, basic inspections right at that time uavs will have the close eye look on the surfaces or uh, on the many components and they will give the real pictures at the real time so airbus is also having that airbus aerial drone subsidiary right across various of industries also so in agriculture our india is majorly 70% agriculture area so unmanned aerial agriculture systems it will be having a lot of lot of benefits because uh, drones will help to look the plants and uh, from above uh, like 100 up 
100 and more uh, meters above where the irrigation problems or to soil variations even pest and fungal infections can be seen uh, from top like healthy and distressed plants can be uh, analyzed survey a crop every week every day or every hour also possible and uh, they can uh, the the data can be uh, taken on the computers and analyzed uh, and uh, uh, time lapse will be visible that how the crops are going in which area there is a what to say less growth or high, uh, or to say fertilizers or uh, natural fertilizers are required can be analyzed right so the crop surveys or crop monitoring services harvest monitoring relative chlorophyll maps the green content of the plants right then ndvi means normalized difference vegetation index and soil brightness map means the only photography is one thing from the drones but the analysis on the computers after photography is a huge huge area to explore in the future coming future and it is happening really right if you see that uh, soil brightness map or aerial view of crop pattern or harvest monitoring it is uh, it will show you the crop health crop stress right for the farmers and it is going to help to analyze and take decisions for further uh, actions right this is one typical drone for uh, fertilizer spray so aerial map survey and mapping in that if you see the land survey or mining survey and aerial mapping of area using fixed wing drone this is fixed wing drone typical view you may be are aware that how tractors travel tractor trail will be the zigzag on the farms same way the drones will travel like above a few meters on the field but if you see the tractors may take many hours to complete the task of like one one acre the drone will complete within few minutes right in the land survey if you are visible this is the residential area which it will show the red and the greenery and many uh, color variation shows the different uh, required uh, data right now this is the aerial survey and mapping where uh, if you see road corridors and the outside of road also what is the situation we can closely look into that railway corridor mapping if you are aware that uh, beyond railway there will be a one preserved area where railway department keeps uh, uh, the required material for the railway track so that can be uh, mapped and observed by drones now us based structural inspection like uh, bigger uh, higher towers or uh, solar panel area or the bridges where uh, drones can have a quick look to understand uh, wh what went wrong or what to do the, in the next action right us for advertisement like flex stripe advertising or box branding or event aerial photographies or coupon chocolate or flower drops in many ways uh, drones are helping in advertisement for uh, media like diary personalized media file can be managed with the drones documentary journalism news update travel update right interviews and vlogging like always you are seeing uh, in the tv news there is a anchor and always a cameraman but the cameraman is going to replace by the the drone itself if you will see right and us for forest management if you'll see uh, drones based imagery is a competitive option for areas oh yeah prabhat drone based imagery is a competitive option for areas of up to 10 hectares the low flight altitude allows the procurement of detailed rich imagery without atmospheric interfaces 
the flexibility is there to produce imagery in everywhere at any time on high resolution cameras lower cost and sustainable forest management landscape management detection of illegal activities like poaching or mining illegal logging can be uh, traced by the drones data generations like 3d tree uh, can be created on the computers after the raw data from the drones ortho photos digital elevation model canopy surface model and 3d landscape can be developed on the computer for the analysis of forest management right if we, if we will see previously we were having help of satellite satellite imagery there are some pros and cons mentioned here the data taken from aerial photography by aeroplanes or helicopters are also having pros and cons ground monitoring also i would like to show you uav is having more benefits like cost effective as compared to the aeroplane or helicopters imagery can be required can be acquired on demand quickly very high resolution fixed wing uh, uh, unmanned aer aerial vehicles reach 2.5 cm per pixel can be zoomed because the aeroplanes and helicopters will be flown at certain height uav can have a closer look also right typically unaffected by cloud coverage as compared to the bigger aeroplanes excellent positional accuracy and geo referencing capability yes there are disadvantages also like uh, regulations may restrict usage and susceptible to weather like flight coverage single flight coverage will have small relatively right then lidar no canopy penetration difficult to reconstruct imagery with few the points like for example imagery with homogeneous terrain like water or sand the time it will be difficult right now for construction and insurance imagine the construction as i told you previously is happening for uh, bigger buildings uh, where uh, the big premises from 500 acres or 200 acres where uh, the drones will have that images which can be analyzed later roof or point cloud the night vision camera helps at a different level right uh, what i would like to tell you that thermal bridges means the stresses or the temperature difference the quarries and minerals the the mines where the previous traditional survey was having some errors if you see the graphs but the drone survey will have the more accuracy in that okay why because the topography altitude and gravel steep terrain and harsh weather conditions as well as the absence of smooth surfaces will be traced by the uavs shock abrasion dust and dirt when operating is in mining sites due to the blast to mine right there will be shocks so obviously unmanned aerial vehicles as compared to the uh, human beings risk will be helpful there faster and easy repeatable mining surveys at low cost improving worker and site safety as i said you types of maps will be orthos mosaic maps 3d point cloud digital terrain model 3d textures maps also sand mining monitoring if you are aware that uh, nearby river there are a lot of uh, sand mafias which are doing many illegal activities due to that murder or theft and corruptions are also happening right so for that also uh, unmanned aerial services like sand excavations a weekly drone survey over the sand yard where the uh, the pile up and the dig outs can be measured uh, literally from uh, drones uh, drone data survey uh, drone data analysis volume calculations right so periodic surveillance for monitoring of river bed also possible so here illegal activities can be minimized to generate the report uh, and the analysis over time right and then in medical field if you are aware that recently in the september month itself last month itself telangana launches medicines from the sky project 
when the Ministry of uh, Civil Aviation, uh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, inaugurated the plant, the Marut uh, drone facility. Anybody has seen this news? Hello, participants. Participants, you can unmute and you can speak. Or you can put up in the chat as well. Yes. Thank you. Applications in medical field. I would like to show you that ultrasonography exploration or dislodging clogged, clogged arteries, such as small drones, endoscopy procedures, colonoscopy is uh, like our intestines uh, view from inside. Right. Obviously, U.S. applications in the education for uh, study in the uh, uh, study of physics, how the drones fly, or to learn and to repair them. For experiments, the research people will have uh, land animal behavior study. If you see, one drone is fixed on the uh, wild animal, and it will have a look the, how the animal behaves in in that uh, in their tribes. Like volcanology experimentation, obviously the drone will be lost here, but the data will be recovered. New species of animals and plants search time lapse on flora, like flowers or plants will grow very slowly, right? That can be traced. Cryptozoology investigation, the wild, uh, strange animals where we cannot reach also, right? Undiscovered tribes exploration here also. Sometimes human beings cannot, uh, normal human beings cannot reach because they detain us. There also we can uh, have exploration. For entertainment, I would like to show this video. These are the drone, uh, no, like n number of drones which are uh, having synchronization in the sky. Disney like companies which are having uh, this type of uh, activities. They are having their patents also. They are doing such a light shows or floating projections on screens, drone puppeteers. Hope you are enjoying this video. This video. Yes, participant. Is it visible for you? Yes, sir. Okay. So, US yes, for photos. Previously, uh, many photos were taken or movie shootings were happening by helicopters, right? Now the uh, drones have taken the role and they are helping a lot. Gaming and racing. Drones themselves have racing competitions. The participants are operating by remotes. Fitness and sports. If you have seen IPL type of cricket matches or uh, the tennis, the shootings are uh, done by uh, drones and Fitness or the what to say? Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, yes, sir. Please continue. Yeah. Sorry for the disturbance. Okay. Participants, please mute yourself. So the competitions like marathons can and uh, the high length competitions which cannot be uh, viewed by the viewers on the pavilion, they, those can be traced by uh, drones, right? Those can be chased also by the drones and we can see on screen, right? The uh, US is uh, helping a lot in the smart cities and urban planning. If you see this type of photo, uh, where uh, governments are uh, analyzing 
like how much uh, area of the city is a uh, green or uh, how much is the uh, rural area premises or how much area is having scope to uh, having development or the junctions many things are there for urban planning right today machine learning is also helping after the drone data and it is giving uh, the service in the lower cost so weather forecasting scientists are leveraging new forms of hardware and software for data collection to help study the climate today most data is collected through stationary structures or captured with geospatial imagery solutions drones obviously having physical follow with weather patterns they can chase a certain area within few minutes right wildlife as i said you in the forest management also like poaching and uh, many uh, theft of valuable plants trees and species of animals are having a uh, threat in security that uh, in that time uh, drones are helping us waste management uh, like recycling and uh, biodegradation have improved global waste management however innovations in waste collections are still emerging but uh, drones can have survey uh, in the ocean area and uh, the team can go and collect the waste right so if you are aware that drones rules in uh, have released in august 2021 by indian government where they are having a plan like to help india become a global drone hub by year 2030 so this is our feature future so i would like to show this in this uh, today's slides right so uh, i am shifting to the urban air mobility like manned aerial vehicles so what is that while our definition of drones is like typically unmanned but nowadays the manned aerial vehicles are coming again if you are asking why right due to the urban traffic and people are having less time and they will have quick travel from uh, one part of the city to the another part where the robot taxis and vertical ports ports are there right it is also called like advanced air mobility nasa describes advanced air mobility advanced air mobility is including as per nasa is like small drones electric aircrafts or automated air traffic management among other te technologies to perform a wide variety of uh, missions including cargo and as well as uh, logistics right so i would like to show that as a, our india's proud this is vinata aero mobility and this is launched just two days back 5th october 2021 in heli tech expo london this is a chennai based uh, indian startup yes it is having a 120 km per hour speed across world i would like to show you that this is like a uh, vahana they have taken sanskrit name vahana this is electrical uh, vertical take off and landing uh, demonstrator they are having batteries of like 38 uh, kilowatt hours capacity is only single passenger there are eight motors four at uh, front wing and four at rear wing i would like to tell you that this is outdated because the things are emerging it is recently only if you see year to it, it was active four years uh, since last uh, uh, year to 2015 it is upgraded like uh, airbus city airbus it is having a capacity of four passengers battery capacity is bigger than previous autonomy is like 15 minutes only it is having safety feature like a distributed electric propulsion means one fan if fails the another other three fans can uh, have a uh, safe landing right and 
after that also after that also uh, this is the city airbus next generation right it is revealed just yes, last month only september 2021 first flight is planned in the 2023 it is 80 km range and to reach a cruise speed of 120 km per hour it's a sound level uh, below 65 decibels during flyover and below 70 decibel during landing such a quite this is a beautiful uh, volocopter 2x crew is only one and capacity of one passenger this is in uh, launched in germany gross weight is 450 kg the length this length is what three around 3 meter width means the total dia of this uh, uh, mav is like around 9 meter and the height is 2 meter okay now i will show electric aeroplanes as per the history i would like to tell you that year 1927 where first type of certified aircraft with piston engine was launched okay in 1952 first type certified commercial aircraft with a jet engine was launched and now year 2020 just last year this first type of certified aircraft with an electric engine is launched okay and the aircraft name is velis electro for pilot training as well as for other operations it is helping it can operate in cold as well as cold hot or uh, rainy time also it is having 12 years of experience this is the velis electro okay it is the first and still the only type certified electric aircraft in the world okay this is uh, nasa's x57 maxwell where uh, six at one side six another at another side of motors are there this experimental airplane powered by electricity this is alpha electro by australia from 2017 so all companies all countries are entering into that and testing uh, what is the future of electric aerospace right so this is a boeing sugar world sugar is nothing but subsonic ultra green aircraft research world names itself is that there is used electricity if you see that there are conventional jet engines nearby fuselage and the rear engines are nothing but electric these are the electric right the turbofans are helping for the taking off but the cruising is helped by the this electric power motors electric motors right this is airbus e fan x as we are going to see in the future uh, in future slides the challenges so all engines cannot be replaced there are some challenges so in 2017 airbus launched the e fan x demonstrator it has only one out of these four jet engines this one is electric motor right the electrical supply is 3000 volt v uh, direct connections electrical distribution volt so this is like 2 megawatt electric motor easy jet this is a right electric company you are seeing that the engines are replaced by electric motors it is 186 seater light testing of the motor is will be in the 2023 and it may enter in the service in 2030 year this is like aviation word is replaced by eviation right allies pure electric this will be like uh, world's first all electric commuter aircraft it is uh, having a nine passengers capacity and the maximum payload is 2500 uh, pounds change is constant uh, my dear friends 
we were discussing about electric till now but the hydrogens are also coming into picture electric propulsion to hydrogen propulsion is a current transition happening already hydrogen propulsion what's that this is one company here area they are having their high flyer first certifiable hydrogen electric power train it here it has world's first flight of a commercial grade hydrogen electric aircraft at cranfield city and this is in just september month only okay it is a six seater the project will conclude with another world's first hydrogen electric flight this time in a 19 seater aircraft maybe in year 2023 Power train timeline from uh, Zero Via is like uh, 10 to 20 seater aircraft in 2023, 50 to 100 seaters in 2026 year, 100 to 200 seats in 2030. In 2035, they are having 200 plus seats uh, plan, and 2040 uh, are having uh, like 500 nautical miles range aircraft. so this is zero avias uh, slide only their vision is renewably powered hydrogen electric aviation okay airbus is also not in behind they are having their three models turbo prop blended wing body and turbo fan turbo prop is having less than 100 passengers and uh, around 1000 nautical miles range the turbo fan is having less than 200 passengers and uh, around 2000 nautical miles range what is that they are having a uh, commercial aircraft plan in the year 2035 it is a zero emission because hydrogen is used right the fuel cells create electric pulse power that complements the gas turbine resulting in a highly efficient hybrid electric propulsion system solar panels as we showed that the electricity by battery now solar panels it is having a match made in heaven is called like that because it is used hand in hand in hand this is nasa's pathfinder solar powered remotely piloted aircraft this is solar impulse right the aircraft is single seated monoplane powered by photovoltaic cells yes many says uh, shows the complaint that the aircrafts are having big wings obviously the solar energy uh, consumption uh, is required for such a big panels so the aircrafts are functional see this is a really wide span of airbus defense and space uav zipir it is having payload just 5 kg span is 28 meter such a huge endurance is 26 days so this is also beneficiary side like endurance endurance is more solar technology like triple junction amm inverted metamorphic epitaxial lift off gas based solar cells what are the electric rockets if you see the comparison from chemical to electric rockets the chemical rockets starting with high thrust speed will be low and tank will be full obviously but the electric rockets will start with the low thrust at mid level the thrust of chemical uh, rocket will be zero but the middle thrust middle thrust of uh, electric rocket will be little higher side right and at the end thrust if you see the chemical uh, electric chemical rocket will have zero thrust but uh, uh, sorry uh, the speed will be high but the speed of uh, uh, electric rocket will be very high as compared to uh, them yes uh, there is advantage of chemical uh, rockets is like the tank will be empty at the end and here uh, this is the challenge we will discuss ahead that the 
electric rockets will not have on the jet engines as compared to the jet engines in electric uh, aircrafts also the electric batteries cannot be re reducing their weight as compared to the fuel consumption in in uh, traditional uh, jet engines or the kerosene type of fuels right so electric spacecrafts this is like 6 kilowatt hall thruster in operation at the nasa's jet propulsion laboratory hall effect thruster is a type of ion thruster in which the propellant is accelerated by an electric field this is one uh, ion ion thruster right so this is another one the 2.3 kilowatt n star ion thruster of the NASA for the deep space one spacecraft during the hot fire test. Okay, it creates thrust by accelerating ions using electricity. There are other names like ion thrusters, ion drive, or ion engine. So, artificial intelligence and the space. AI is hand in hand in the electricity because the digital world is coming up. AI for detecting space debris, virtual moon for studies on the ground itself. SpaceX company is having AI based cockpit for the spacecraft. Flying brain at International Space Station. Self assembling spacecrafts, space tourism, space exploration, lunar factories, and lunar hotels, lunar uh, or uh, Mars rehabilitation. Many things are coming up and electricity is everywhere, right? So what are the challenges? If you'll see, China is having highest dip, uh, uh, lithium producer. So importing dependency for all other countries for lithium battery, motor, or electronic parts is always there, right? Batteries do not decrease on weight as they are discharged, as I said earlier. The biggest challenge is the low energy density of batteries. If you see jet fuel has an energy density of 12,000 watt hour per kg. But lithium ion batteries have an energy density at the cell level is just 250 watt hour per kg. Such a low, right? So energy density at the pack level, including the weight the penalty or the thermal runaway containment of the other safety features is typically 20% lower. If you see, uh, lithium is executed in the China's land majorly across world if you compare. Then there is a part of Argentina and Australia as per the Bloomberg uh, report. Jet engine alike high speed exhaust cannot be achieved using the electric power, right? At the starting um, time, electricity vehicles, electric vehicles or drones while be uh, expensive at the purchase time, but it will give the benefits in the long run because there will be uh, low maintenance cost, no rotative parts, right? The drawbacks including range anxiety because uh, the, the electric, electric uh, motors will have a low range as compared to the jet engines. The price and recharging length and the high chances of motion sickness, many things are there which are may, uh, outweighing the pluses of uh, electric uh, motors. Yes, uh, Elon Musk has already said that, mark my words, artificial intelligence is a far more dangerous than nuclear, right? So with this, uh, I'm ending. So these are my messages which will be handy for you uh, if you are getting uh, this presentation later onwards. This is a beautiful uh, thanks to you uh, presented by Drone Swarm. So I'm thanking you all for patiently listening and arguing me due to the some technical glitch. No problem, no problem, sir. <laughs> it was a great session. Thank that so happens. Much. Yes, that happens. Technical problems and <laughs> all. Right. Yes. So, participants, if you would like to interact with um, Mr. Rakesh Shete, please. 
anything related to you know electric uavs and uh, electric propulsion please you can ask so in our group uh, majority are from non aero background they are from mechanical uh, ec right electrical so uh, i think this was like an eye opener for those who are from non aero branches so <clears throat> okay any any queries please ask sir hello yes, yes. Uh, pankaj sir please i have a question uh, to uh, yes sir yes please sir what do you think what will be the opportunities for the uh, small scale msme sectors uh, of india uh, in this area which you have highlighted today in the future and yes, how, how these uh, sectors should look forward for business opportunities is a good question because everyone is dreaming about this type of future right so obviously if you we'll read the biographies uh, in this in this field uh, from michael faraday to tesla or uh, right brothers in aircraft inventions if you'll we'll see that they have started in very small scale right if you'll we'll see current uh, space in the uh, space startups or aircraft uh, small scale rocket startups if you are uh, closely observing them uh, you should visit such a plants you obviously the people who are in this field already ahead they will be open minded to you to help you how they started so those type of biographies this type of uh, space startups you should visit how they started right you will learn from them you will get uh, directions from them first of all second thing the budget and the investors finding and obviously this is air or space related right like if two wheeler or four wheeler fails on while traveling it can be taken outside the road and it can be repaired the aeroplanes simple a paper aeroplane if you are flying it is failing down we will think about it right imagine the uh, the drones of 2 lakh or 5 lakh rupees it is flying and falling down and crashing at that time that is the investment you have to again work on that so we have to start with the small scale first of all if you are having how to start right every company small st companies start with the engineering uh, last year engineering projects or uh, masters colleges projects helping in them their projects their unsolved problems slowly after getting few years of expertise in that you after seeing your expertise the bigger companies like governments will start giving you projects after seeing your confidence and years of uh, achievements hope it is clear yes sir thanks sir thanks a lot yes you can keep in touch with me always or other sir will help you to keep in me touch sure sir okay any other uav related query so uh, okay by the time participants you know prepare with the question uh, rakesh sir i have one question uh, yes, please. regarding uh, this uh, electric propulsion yes please uh, recently airbus uh, announced for zero emission by 2030 yeah uh so how practical it is and is it achievable uh, in india in indian aerospace uh, industry india is long way to go because you have seen the traditional jet engine cover engine achievements already we are aware right so for us yes. it is like uh, learning from the western countries only we have to see what they are doing and what is in 2030 we have to see their launch i think before that uh, i don't know how many co companies in india will uh, start to take risk in that and to explore yeah yes so recently uh, i think we have uh, startups like 
agnikul cosmos and skyroot yeah. aerospace those are purely working on uh, aerospace projects yes so yes. we have to see how successful they would be yes, whether yes. we can create a uh, tes- uh, sorry spacex in india so that's yes, what yes. i read in newspaper a couple of days before yeah very interesting i am also keep reading uh, it's like life mindedness for us yeah the technology or the cost we have to see really yes yes yeah because the investors so, are required yes uh, the second part of this discussion like uh, here rakesh sir covered about the aeronautics part and the aerospace part uh, in depth uh, you know knowledge will be shared by mrs nikita in the last session tomorrow uh, so that way it will get connected the two sessions <laughs> i would like to attend that <laughs> yes 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 so a- a- any queries uh, participants if uh, it's there please rakesh sir is available and also we will share the linkedin and email details to you uh, through our uh, daily email right sure, any sure. any queries all queries yeah. all discussions are welcome yes yes later also sure sure okay i think uh, we can end the session now yes. uh, it was very g- informative and you know short and sweet session yes thank you <laughs> so much regarding the electrification in uh, aeronautical and aerospace right so i would like to thank uh, mr rakesh shete for uh, accepting the invitation to come and give a talk on uh, in this five day faculty development program on electric vehicles thank you very much sir thank you very much for giving me opportunity and listening thank you thank you thank you and uh, uh, dear participants uh, we can switch on the cameras for again uh, another photo session virtually so all these photos uh, maybe by tomorrow evening uh, we will be sharing in the google drive that you have shared in the gallery folder okay all of all the participants can access it and regarding uh, the presentation ppts few speakers have given permission to share the ppts and few have not so uh, that we will communicate to you uh, you know clearly and the moment we get uh, clarification from the speak you are muted yes okay Th- thank you all the participants thank you very much and thank you for mr rakesh shethi sir all the best for all of your future thank you yes so dear participants we will meet in the afternoon uh, by 2:30 it will be a session on simulation in electric vehicles by mr uh, kartikesh kumar ja so he will be discussing more about the simulation of ev parts what uh, yesterday abhimanyu sir left from that part he will continue so we will meet at 2:30 thank you all is ramakrishna sir is there hegde sir he has asked a question in the chat okay okay i'm, I'm yes. seeing now <coughs> yeah Yes sir yeah, what kind of precautionary measures required to face accidental fire hazards use of electric battery in aeroplanes yes sir yes sir this is the question right yeah yeah there will be battery casing okay yes sir yes sir yeah there will be a battery casing yeah yes sir so um, in order to add to rakesh sir uh, electric battery completely electric aircraft for passenger uh, transportation i think it will take some time uh, yes, yes. as for my knowledge but uh, when the airbus said zero emission they meant uh, hydrogen powered Engine. yes yes 
so again logistically hydrogen is also very difficult to manage uh, just like uh, the battery we have problems with the battery systems uh, but right now for passengers complete electric uh, i'm not sure how practical it is and definitely that uh, fire accident in battery is a very great threat for the ev development and uh, i think industries are working towards uh, reducing the effect yes ram krishna sir yes yes yeah thank you all sure sure sir thank you